Hey everyone and welcome to another episode. Today we are going to discuss how to use the seven segment display and how to use the encoder. Now this will be very helpful, especially if you are trying to make your own clock, which is exactly what I did. So this is actually a video before my clock, so everything will be clear when the clock video be uploaded. Now first of all, to understand how to use a seven segment display, we need to see what's actually inside it. Now, of course, I'm not going to take one apart because that will be very pain in the ass. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try my best to draw it. Even though I'm bad at drawing, I'm trying my best here to get your subs. So, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Now, okay, so this is this. I told you I'm bad at drawing, sorry. Okay, so every segment, so this is a segment, okay? We have seven segments. That's why it's called seven segment display in the first place. Okay, so everyone have, a, not a number, let's say an alphabet, okay? So this is A, B, C, D, so on and so forth, E, F, and G, and this is D, P, which stands for this dot right here. Now, there are two types. First of all, there is a common anode and a common cathode. Now, common, let's say anode and common cathode. Now, both of them work almost the same way. Okay, so let's say, for example, you are trying like to light number one. So let's say you want number one to light up. What you're going to, to do is to light up the B and the C. And that's, why, and that's how you get to number one. Now to do that, if you have a common cathode, you need to put B in high, C in high. Now high, it can either be two volt, three volt, five volts. It depends on your type of seven segment display because we have tons of variations we have one that only have one two four displays we have big ones small ones so everyone have its current and voltage limitation so try from a small voltage and go your way up because if not you will end up like me setting fire on your seven segment display now for the purpose of this video let's say that high means three volts Okay, so I want to light up number one. What I'm going to do is I want to put three volts on B, three volts on C, and to close the circuit, we need to put pin in ground. Now, every seg seven segment display have one pin that should be either in plus or minus. Now, we have a common cathode, which means that all the cathodes are connected together, which means we need to set this pin in ground. So if you put this in ground, the connection will be like this. We will apply a voltage between the LED in B, the LED in C, and of course, to close the circuit, this is ground, so we will light up number one. So cathode, you need to put it in minus, this one. And it works with a plus. So if you want to light a segment, you need to put a high voltage in it. Now, let's say you have a common cathode. Now, it's in reverse. So, if I want to light this one, so, since it's common anode, all the anodes are connected together, which means I need to apply 5 volts, or, sorry, 3 volts on the, common, on the common anode, and to light C and B, I need to connect each one of them to ground. Now, I don't like using common anode, anode for simple reason. It's like if I only have one pin I need to set it to ground, I can just use a transistor. Okay? I put it on transistor and the emitter of the transistor will be at the ground, the collector will be on this pin, and the base I can control it with a microcontroller. Now in the anode I need to set seven transistors, each one for each segment. So if I want to like, I, I need to apply here high voltage. If I want to light B, 
I need to apply high voltage to the base of a transistor that connected to B, which then will connect B to the ground so B can light up. You see, it's very pain in the ass. So all my freaking displays are common cathode because let's be honest, it's easier for me to work with them. Now feel free to use common anode or common cathode. Uh, it's your choice, it's your project, okay? Now, now this is a little like a gift for you. Now if you have a display and you wanna know which are the A to the G pins, like you have no data sheet of it. You see there is a serial like number here. If it's like from a name and brand or something, you can actually find a data sheet in, in the internet. But let's be honest, most of them are just BS and they will not work. So, I mean, the, fir the best teacher is experience, right? Let's put that on the test. So I put my power bank supply to 3.3 volt. The, I, you need, I told you you need to start from low to high because I actually ended up frying this poor seven segment display because I did over killed it with voltage, okay? So start from small going up. If it does not light up at three, try 3.3, 3.5, until four, and you get the idea. So there is a simple way to know which pin it's which. So all I have to do is try, like I have no idea which pins are, so I will try randomly. So I will hook pin here and try to swap pins. Oh, okay, I light up, okay, okay, okay. So this is good. At least I'm lucky in this one. So now I know that, okay, first of all, this is a common cathode, okay? You need to know which is a common cathode or common anode. Now, since this is a common cathode, I know that the pin that is connected to ground is one of the pin responsible of the lighting and not lighting of one of the displays. You got the idea, right? So this pin is connected to ground, which means that this first display this pin is actually the pin, this one, okay? Now I know that applying high voltage to one of these while this one is in ground will light it, okay? So I know that E is this one. All I have to do is keep swapping the high voltage leaving the ground in its place. So now I know which is D and I can keep doing that. This is the point. I can, this is C, G. Uh, okay, so the last one did not light up, which means I have two possible options here. Or there are two Y's it did not work. First of all, it's burnt, which is not the case because this is a brand new one. This is the first time I tested. And the second one, this is actually a common cathode of one of the other displays, okay? So to know if it's true or not, all I have to do is put it here on ground, okay, come on, stick, and then apply a voltage to the E, and okay, as you can see, I applied negative to this pin, and I applied high voltage to the E, which I knew it was E since I mm, did light it. As you can see, okay, so there's two that actually light in because, uh, okay, because I had like the metal two pins are connected together because, ah, I put it in a weird position. As you can see, this is how to identify the pins. Now, all you have to do is keep trying this for every single display and once you know which are the A to the G, all you have to do is you, you will know directly which are the common cathode. All I have to do is like choose one of this pin and try to connect it to one of this pin right here and you will know which is the common cathode of every single display. And of course you can do the same thing with common anode. Uh, but in reverse okay so yeah this is my video. I know it's quite long but I, I hope you learned something and please leave a good comment or something and maybe subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.